Hello everyone. Our task for today is examining a redundant design. In this activity, you will observe how STP operates, by default, and how it reacts when faults occur. Switches have been added to the network out of the box. Cisco switches can be connected to a network without any additional action required by the network administrator. For the purpose of this activity, the bridge priority was modified. Part 1. Check for STP Convergence. When STP is fully converged, the following conditions exist. All PCs have green link lights on the switched ports. Access layer switches have one forwarding uplink green link to a distribution layer switch and a blocking uplink amber link to a second distribution layer switch. Distribution layer switches have one forwarding uplink green link to a core layer switch and a blocking uplink amber link to another core layer switch. Part 2. Examine the ARP process. Step 1. Switch to simulation mode. Step 2. Ping from PC1 to PC6. The ARP reply from PC6 travels back along one path. Because with STP enabled the redundant paths are blocked and only that path is made available. The loop free path between PC1 and PC6 is PC1, A1, D2, C1, D3, A6, PC6. Step 3 Examine the ARP process again. Access layer and distribution layer of the path change from the last set of pings. Part 3. Test redundancy in a switch network. Step 1. Delete the link between A1 and D2. Step 2. Pin between PC1 and PC6. The new loop free path is PC1, A1, D1, C1, D3, A6, PC6. Step 3. Delete link between C1 and D3. The link from D3 to C2 is active now. Step 4. Pin between PC1 and PC6.
the nilu free path is PC1, A1, D1, C1, D4, A6, PC6. Step 5. Delete D4. Step 6. Pin between PC1 and PC6. The new loop free path is PC1, A1, D1, C2, D3, A6, PC6. D3 only has the one path to C2 and A6. Step 7. Delete C1. Step 8. Pin between PC1 and PC6. The new loop free path is PC1, A1. D1, C2, D3, A6, PC6. That's all. Thank you for watching.